Hey guys, welcome to Everyday Family Adventure. I'm Trent, and we just arrived to a little campground in um, Tennessee somewhere. I have no idea, but we're just kind of docking in for the night. We're just gonna have just a good family dinner in the RV. We haven't had one of those. At 8 p.m. Yeah, I kind of got in a little late, but it's okay. Siobhan's making spaghetti. She checked through all the stuff. It's all working. Everything's working just fine, right? Yep. So that's Everything's awesome. Everything's amazing. It's working great. I'm gonna have some spaghetti and put the kids straight to bed. Yeah. I wanted to show you guys my new little setup I got for the family for Christmas. I got a projector, and so this is, I mean, if you guys saw our renovations when we kind of more or less did a couch on the side instead, um, well, I'd been wanting to do this and I just never got around to it. For Christmas, I got everybody a projector. So check this out, this is pretty cool. So I have it so it just kind of retracts in there and we've got the projector on the screen there. And just have a good old family movie night. So yeah, I love that. Um, I'll post the projector on here. Let me see. They're watching, watching SpongeBob, I think, right now. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll post all the projector stuff on there in a minute. But I think we're gonna eat dinner soon. Oh man, my eyes are hurting because Siobhan's cutting up onions right now. But it's gonna make things taste so good. So good. So yeah, I got this, the projector I got is called the Top Vision. Um, it's 220 watts, 550 luminous flux. I don't even know what that means. I just searched on Amazon for a mini projector and I kinda came up with this one because there were some different ones of different kinds. Most of them you have to use like a Amazon Fire Stick or a Apple TV or a Roku stick or something like that, which is what we're using. That's kind of what I wanted to do for streaming. Um, and then it has another HDMI port for a, a Blu-ray DVD player on it too. But I just loved the idea of whatever our TV is that we're using is just hid hidden and put away because I don't want to have a TV out all the time. I got so frustrated all the time with having our TV in the RV and having to move it from the back room to the front room, make sure that it's always, it was just such a pain. And I'm not a big fan of TV anyway, so I just didn't want it to be a thought in my head. Um, the other thing too is that I, when we left the RV the first time, I think I gave away the TV, and so we didn't have anything anyway. So this is just something nice, you know, let the kids watch a little video before we're doing dinner or something like that, or occasionally when we're driving down the road. I just thought it'd be kind of cool, and so I I put it together on some rails, just some drawer rails. I, I did get the heavier duty ones, the 12 inch ones, so that it could be um, kind of rigid and not having to be moving around. This specific projector came with this screen over here. That was kind of nice. I, I think I might do a different solution still too because the projector will throw enough to be the right size to throw it on the back of this black screen here. And then yeah, I, I put a, just a wooden dowel rod in the bottom of the projector screen because it folds over into, you know, twice the size. So it'll throw quite a bit. Um, it said the optimum throw is nine feet. So the width of our coach is, what is the width of our coach, nine? eight feet across and I mean I, with the drawer I have it coming out so I mean it's only throwing maybe six feet right now I might paint that black one and just um, something that's a bright white on the back side so that when we roll the screen down then I can just project onto that I, I think I'd like to do that I don't know just kind of need to just get comfortable with it but I love the setup up there because it just gets tucked away and it looks all nice and uh, I just did you know, Hook and I 
and then uh, some little bungee cord things so that it's just nice and tight on there. And I mean, we were driving down the highway and it, it stayed pretty stable. Um, so yeah, I thought that'd be pretty cool. Guys, we're gonna let you go tonight and have an awesome family meal want to just say thank you to all of you who have watched our channel for so long we're gonna go have a lot of fun this month and we're headed down to Florida we're gonna meet up with some friends mm -hmm. we're gonna play some music for people and share a good message with them mm -hmm. so we're gonna let you go tonight we're gonna have a lot of fun tomorrow so remember we can make the world better I believe we can bye guys bye.